Bonjour, j'espère que vous allez très bien. In this video, we are going to see how to translate the expression I don't know into French, but I don't know when, I don't know what, I don't know who, etc. etc. So let's start with the first expression I don't know what. In French, here we've got three different cases to translate what. The first one is this one I don't know what I can do. How to translate what here? It is ce que. Je ne sais pas ce que je peux faire. Je ne sais pas ce que je peux faire. When you speak fluently, you can say je ne sais pas ce que je peux faire. Je ne sais pas ce que je peux faire. So what is ce que? In this uh, second um, example, it's different. I don't know what happened. And here what is ce qui? Je ne sais pas ce qui s'est passé. Je sais pas ce qui s'est passé. So why this difference in French? Well, you can see that in the first example, after what, we've got a subject. The subject is I. In this case, when you have a subject after what, you use the expression ce que. In the second example, you directly have the verb, no subject. That's why what is ce qui. If you want to understand it better, there is a lesson about que and qui. The third expression we are going to see is I don't know what to do, you think here to do the infinitive form. And in French, what is different? Je ne sais pas quoi faire. It, so in this case, when you've got an infinitive, you use the word quoi in French. Je ne sais pas quoi faire. As you can see, just one word in English, what, but three expressions in French, ce que, ce qui, and quoi. Let's see the second one. I don't know who. Who is key in French? And we are not going to change it, so it's easier. I don't know who is coming. Je ne sais pas qui vient. Or when you speak fluently, je ne sais pas qui vient. Je ne sais pas qui vient. So who is key all the time? The third expression, when. I don't know when. I don't know when she comes. So, je ne sais pas quand elle vient. Don't forget there is a connection between quand and elle. The letter D becomes a T for the liaison. Quand elle vient. Je sais pas quand elle vient. I don't know when she comes. If you want to use an infinitive form, well, the translation is always quand. I don't know when to do that. Je ne sais pas quand faire cela. Je sais pas quand faire cela. The fourth expression is where. I don't know where. Where in French is où with the accent on the letter U. So, je ne sais pas où tu es, I don't know where you are. Again here, if you want to speak fluently, you are going to say, je ne sais pas où tu es, because tu es is the contraction of tu es. Je ne sais pas où tu es. Of course, if you are is plural or formal, you are going to say, je ne sais pas où vous êtes. I don't know why, the fifth form, I don't know why you are so angry. Why is pourquoi in French? Je ne sais pas pourquoi tu es si en colère. Je ne sais pas pourquoi tu es si en colère. Je ne sais pas pourquoi tu es si en colère. I don't know how. How is comment? So, I don't know how to finish my work. Je ne sais pas comment finir mon travail. And that's all. How is always comment? Let's see now two expressions, how many and how much. I don't know how many, I don't know how much. The first one is I don't know how many apples we have. So here you can say how many is combien. Je ne sais pas combien de pommes nous avons. Don't forget, in this case, we need the preposition de, combien de pommes. Je ne sais pas combien de pommes nous avons. How much now? I don't know how much it costs. Je ne sais pas combien ça coûte. So here we've got two expressions in English, but just one word in French, combien. Let's see now to finish the expression how often. I don't know how often. So I don't know how often they go to the cinema. We've got two possibilities. The first one is je ne sais pas combien de fois ils vont au cinéma. Combien de fois is how many times. Je sais pas combien de fois ils vont au cinéma. You can also say, je ne sais pas si ils vont souvent au cinéma. Souvent, to translate often. 
Je sais pas s'ils vont souvent au cinéma. Non, je sais pas du tout. Ok? Well, now it's finished. C'est fini. So you know a bit more about I don't know. Thank you very much for following this video. Au revoir et bon français. And don't forget to subscribe.